we we house hack again. Let's talk about your current strategy, right? So you end up finding a niche. You go to one of the coolest neighborhoods on the south side. Most of our listeners don't know about Mark. I know you're much more familiar with uh, Hedgewitch than I am. I could barely pronounce it. Talk to us about you know you, it's not Ukrainian village, right? How did you end up down there? So um, with interest rates going up and with uh, house prices going up and, you know, our margins were tighter and tighter finding profit, right? So um, a friend of mine was talking about Hagowish and I was like, oh, I'm going to go check it out. And I fell in love with it. Like the community, the community is so wonderful. It feels so homely. It feels like a little suburb. Um, it, it's, it's clean. It's, you know, and they have a huge uh, 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 park, uh, state park, huge state park. And fun fact, it's the only um, uh, state park in Chicago where you can go and hunt, which is, which is, which is crazy. Um, there's so much space and it's airy. And um, so far, my tenants love it there. And, and it's, it's part of the mobility area too, which is, um, you know, something that um, I tend to try to find properties in, in those, in those areas. And I just, I just love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful, well-maintained neighborhood. People take home ownership to uh, uh, the next level. Um, it's, it's pretty it's nice. For those of you listening that do not know what mobility area is, I know we've talked about it here, but give, give uh, the listeners kind of a rundown what the mobility area is and, and why you like it. So, you know, in the city's eyes, right? So, so, um, uh, Chicago housing authority, uh, marks, uh, different areas of Chicago as, you know, um, better schools, less crime, um, and, and higher income levels, right? So they they mark those areas as mobility areas where, um, they want to, uh, you know, Chicago housing area would like to give the opportunity to, um, individuals that are voucher holders to raise their kids in those communities, to give access to those kids to go to the same schools as, you know, better schools and have access to, you know, a better community, to have access to, you know, a community that is less crime and, uh, you know, be around uh, a, a more more diversified and inclusive neighborhood. So, uh, because, so they call it mobility area and to incentivize landlords and investors like us, they will uh, usually pay a premium um, for for Section Eight or or voucher holders. Um, so so if you're if it's your first time uh, renting a home in the mobility area, they usually pay an additional month of rent upfront, which is you know really good to your to your cash flow. And then secondly, um, the actual coupon is a bit higher than if you would rent it in a non mobility area. Does that uh, answer your question? 